Hello, welcome to my video, uh, my channel. This is Sarah, and this is a coloring book review for uh, coloring with your octopus. And this right here is the illustrator. I've not looked at this book yet, so this will be the first time for me. Um, hopefully, um, it's a fantastic book. So, um, the dimensions of the book are 14 by 7, so it's an odd size. And the way I'm going to do this review is, is since the pages um, are on both sides of the page, and it's the odd size here, I'm going to focus on the right side of the page first, then I'm going to move it over to the left, like that. So, um, bear with me. This might be a little bit longer review than some of mine, but that's how I felt like it would be best to do this. So, this is the front cover. This is the thickness of the book. This is the back. And here is the spine. So inside the front cover, you have the title page here. And it jumps right into the book, it looks like. Um, the binding is glue bound. I take that back. The binding is stitched, um, so it does lay very flat. These illustrations are really cool so far. I, I really like just the oddity of the book. Paper quality is decent. It's a... Uh, a thinner cardstock type paper. It's very smooth. It would be good for gel pens, colored pencils, um, probably light watercolors. Um, even watercolor pencils would be fine on this book. So I wanted to get you guys as close as I could to the picture since it's an odd size. I didn't want to have to back away so far that you could get both sides. I wanted you to get a clear view of the pages, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Some neat line work in, in this book. I think what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and flip the pages so you can see the right side and then I'll go backwards on the left side once I get to the back of the book. I think that'll be faster and easier. Pages are not perforated. Like I said, it would be fine for colored pencils, gel pens, ink pens, um, light watercolor if you're careful with the water. Gelatos, um, the water-soluble pastels, all those kinds of things would be fine for this book. Things that would not be okay, since it is double-sided, unless you get two copies of this book or you don't care about running the back side of the page. Um, the watercolor, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the watercolor or the water-based markers and the alcohol-based markers both would be too much for these pages. I got a bunch of books today in the mail, so I will be reviewing all of them today and posting them up online um, a little bit at a time over the next few days. And here comes my cat. <laughs> so let's switch to the other side here. It looks like they put the informational page, uh, publication and stuff in the back of the book. Go on, Willow. 
cats, they just do not like it when I uh, film. <laughs> I'm in the way of their water bowl when I film, so that's why a lot of my videos have the cats in them. And you can hear the thickness of the paper here. It's, I mean, it, it's a decent paper. Definitely a lot better than some of the coloring books I've gotten recently. Oh, there's Willow. Sorry about that. What a fun book. This is a really fun book to review. I really like it. I like the odd shape. I love the line work. It looks like uh, professional cartoons, and I know that the illustrator has worked on cartoons. I believe it was, uh, he's a, a licensed Disney sculptor. I believe that's this particular illustrator. Brian Kessinger. Um, so this is a coloring book review for Coloring with Your Octopus by Brian Kessinger. Kessinger. Um, what a fantastic book. A good shout out to Brian. Thank you very much for sharing your artistic abilities with the world in coloring book form. I love it. Thank you so much. And to everybody else, have a great day and happy coloring.